Hello, this is Gio, and I'm continuing with my uh, laundry room project. And one of the things I have to do for this project is to run electrical uh, line up to the new laundry room. And you can see what I did there. There's a water heater over there. The laundry room's essentially going to be right there. But we're going to have a, a dryer kind of in that location, and a washer here. There'll be a new wall coming in through there. So we'll need a number of lines. Uh, and actually, we will need, for this project, I calculated about five lines I want coming in. So one of them is going to be the main uh, 40 amp uh, electrical cable going to the washer. And then I'll need one uh, dedicated one for the dryer. And actually, we're going to have a number of other things, including some cadet heaters. But I've already uh, removed. Uh, the floorboards in this attic space and you can see the old board right there just to expose what I have there and you can see uh, some plumbing through there some vent lines coming up there's a little water line and you could actually look underneath these floorboards for some wires that you could see moving around but I've already uh, before this video even started I drilled a couple of holes one right there and one right there this is an inch hole which I'm actually going to run up a um, the larger 40 amp line and I'm also going to kind of share between between these two holes the smaller 20 amp line so um, and I, I have a little advantage here because not always do you have this ability but I actually know I was uh, around when this addition was made so both the attic and the downstairs addition and I took advantage of that opportunity and actually took some pictures. And so I kind of see what's going on below me. So if you look closely here, uh, this is the ceiling right here, and this is the top board to the wall. And you could see that vent line coming down there. And let me grab the right picture. And you could see it coming down here. <clears throat> Same vent line comes down here kind of makes a little corner and then down to the crawl space and on the other side you see right here is a water line on the other side of the stud and this indeed is that water line and so I wanted to take advantage of this opening right here uh, you could see this little block out right here um, there's other block outs but this is a clear path and so I just started by drilling these two holes right here and I'm gonna fish some line down I'm gonna have to drill uh, holes in the crawl space too, but I just wanted to take a look at what we have to verify where we're going. So again, I did drill those two holes, one one inch and one uh, three-fourths of an inch, or just larger than three-fourths, and I have this little flashlight. I'm not sure if you're going to actually be able to see this, but I'm going to just kind of stick this in the hole through there, and, and you can already see the light coming through there. And let's just see if I could zoom in and you can actually see anything interesting here. So if it focuses, we'll be in business. Maybe it won't focus. There we go. You can kind of see, okay, you could, we're all the way down to the bottom of the wall. And that, uh, that little line you see in the middle, that's actually an electric conduit uh, that's coming through that's in the picture. And if I move this way, a little bit you could actually maybe even see the water line coming through see you could see it right there and so everything seems to be exactly the way the picture showed it and there's a clear path minus that one little conduit which we could pass really um, or that cable that we could uh, pass really uh, quickly and then we'll just have to drill a couple of holes in the um, crawl space Okay, so we're in the crawl space now, and you can see all the pipes coming through here. These are mostly drains at this point, no vent pipes. But that pipe you see right there, that's the same pipe as we saw in the attic. It uh, was a vent over there. It went down the wall and actually uh, jarred a little bit to the right and then followed the wall down. But I generally know uh, that it, it there's a stud right adjacent to the pipe based on my photos, and I can kind of base my measurements off of that. So I'm going to be basing my measurements off of this pipe and my uh, my wires will be onto the right. And so I will first just remove this insulation. But before I do that, I'm going to show you kind of a diagram I made of what I think is going on here. 
you can see uh, there's like the pipe coming down and there's a stud right next to it. It's kind of reverse order from what you see here. So this is right to left and this is left to right. So, um, and I've sort of measured where I think the wires are coming down, where the upper holes are from this stud or floor joist here. And so I'm going to measure from this uh, floor joist nine and a half inches this way for one hole and then 15 and a half inches for the other hole. And I'll probably, if you look there, that's the joist in question. There's another joist right here. So probably one hole is gonna be on one side of that joist and the other on that side, depending on the measurements. So I'll continue. So I went ahead and moved the uh, insulation a little bit away. And you can see this pipe coming down here. And there's another pipe coming down there. And those should be in line with the wall. I'm gonna just kind of <coughs> use this stick on either side of the pipes so I know generally where to drill. I know the drill, the first hole will be about here, the other one will be on the other side of that that joist. Okay, so with these holes uh, drilled, I, uh, you know, I peeked up and I saw a light r right above the little tiny holes right above me from the top. And so they're perfectly aligned. I could basically just drop a drop a weight straight down and Maybe uh, with a magnet, grab it on this side and just pull it through uh, as a fish. But before I do that, I'm just going to continue. I have to um, drill some holes along these studs or floor joists uh, um, to, for the line. So I'll go ahead and do that before I drop and fish the new line. Okay, so we're back at the surface up on in the attic. And you can see that I've already fished kind of a little wire down there. And it actually extended to the other end. Uh, took a few tries, but I got it to work. I've attached my wire to the end of that to that uh, fishing wire there and uh, If you notice here, there's actually three wires that I'm fishing through the same hole So I'm kind of uh, just leading it with this wire and so I will just start pulling it through and Hopefully it'll come on the other end Okay, here we are in the crawl space, and I'm just starting to pull the line now you can see the hole right there. Okay, and here's the end of it. If I could do this with one hand, let's see. You can see the uh, tape coming through, and there's the wire. Let's pull it all the way through so we can get the other wires as well. There we go, and there's the three wires. So there you have it. I hope this helps you out, and I'll just need to finish fishing this through. But uh, good luck on your projects. Bye-bye.